Hey, housemates, did you know blue jays can carry five acorns at a time and will store hundreds for winter? And did you know the burrow owl will often use old prairie dog burrows for their underground nests? Why the heck do you think they call it a burrow owl anyway? What do you say, guys? Wanna play Wingspan? So picture it. There we are, sitting patiently near some bushes, hoping we won't disturb the birds. We've made this trek each day for a week. And then that red breast that almost belies a robin, but no, no, those wing markings, the red eyes and short beak, and yes, that unmistakable forwards, backwards scratch to forage. Yes, it's the elusive spotted he. And what's this? She has a clutch of eggs? Well, well. Feeling triumphant, we make our way to the water's edge, where we find our common loon proudly carrying her chicks on her back across the lake, which she'll continue to do for several more days. Birds out in the forests, prairies, and wetlands have a very delicate balance of factors that lead to their success. Of course, all birds need food to survive, but the specific types of food that different birds eat are all over the place. As ornithologists and birders at large, we will tend the wilderness sanctuary and keep a careful catalog of the birds we identify in our field journals. We'll watch for signs of each bird's preferred food in their preferred environs, and then watch as a growing healthy ecosystem reveals itself. You know, for a game all about birds, I can't help but notice the absence of very many chickens. Oh, but hey, here's one, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But of course, Wingspan is an engine building game. Having more birds lets you get more food and more eggs and more cards for more birds. Each cog of that wheel is just as important as each other. Discovering a Baltimore Oriole in your forest may cost you a certain amount of food in the short term, but the unusual nesting habits of these birds means that you have a healthy biome. And Increasing biodiversity means more opportunities for the food chain to flourish. The, the Oriole adores fruit bits, which means it can then scatter fruit seeds to the forest floor where they will grow and encourage more growth, more food and, and more birds. In addition to points for birds, we also get points between rounds for certain types of nests, nesting locations or quantity of eggs. The, the Oriole's unique nesting style of woven nest means there is plenty of nesting material in the forest, which just generally means it's a healthy biome, which is good all around. It's also a pretty cool looking nest. You know, Wingspan feels a little like a deck builder to me for some reason, because we have to pay an action to draw a bird card, then pay food to get it into play. And once in play, Previously available actions can become much better through these brown stripes. Cards with brown stripes confer additional effects for those actions. So it's definitely an engine building game along the lines of like Xenon Profiteer, Everdell, and Innovation. What's that? Uh, you want me to do a thing on the game Innovation? Oh, huh. <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> Wingspan lies at the intersection of wonderful art and very satisfying gameplay. I very much appreciate how much thought was put into making these cards. So they have a lot of information without being somehow too noisy or incomprehensible. What you need to play the card is in the top. How it scores is generally in the middle and bonus actions and stuff are clearly indicated towards the bottom. Flavor text is there if you want it. It's perfection. The game is played in a set of four rounds. We count score after each round plus points for all of your birds after the last round. Then the game ends. The variety of scoring methods guarantees the game is never stale. And the person with the most points wins this really cool Nest Smart Home Thermostat. <laughs>
It's good, yeah? <laughs> Cue the music! Housemates, I'll see you at the game table! <laughs>